really, we're not going for anything real, uh, real big flame on this. We're, what I'm trying to do really is just, I just want to get, um, I just want to put a little fine layer of solder onto this little piece. So this is the cold pick method, and I, I have to, I have mantras in my head to mm -hmm. do this. Cold pick, pop, yes, yeah, so I'm putting it in the cold water, pick. knock off the water, and I'm going to let one of these ball up. Notice I don't have the pick near it. It balls up, it's hot, you can, most of the time you can just go and get it. Oh, yeah. so, don't smash it like that if you can help it. Mm -hmm. So it's the steam. If you get your pick too hot, it just melts on your pick. Which is a whole other thing I could show you. Okay. Okay. There's a benefit. Other things. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to heat this up, and with the with the handy flux, I usually heat it first, so it's a little sticky. Oops! I dropped that. This is why. This is why Kathy doesn't like this. Mm -hmm. We're gonna. Actually, I use a little teeny bit of handy flux on mine the tip of my Do you usually, that, see, usually mine has a little bit of flux on it, so. Yeah, yeah. It uh, but you got to be careful because you can melt it right on top of there. Yeah. Don't be surprised when you go to do this if, if the, if the, uh, the solder melts because it's little, okay? Piece is little. I don't like to use a lot of flux on there because then that can be a real pain in the butt, but a little actually works yeah. well. Because it would flow all over your piece, right? Well, it can. It just can solder onto the steel. Oh, gotcha. So mm -hmm. once there's a little bit on there, cold pick, hot ball. What you want to do is get in. You want to, when those balls are hot, you move the heat away and grab it. Okay. If you're doing it and you get your pick in the heat, that's when you start melting stuff gotcha. onto the pick. Because that's what we, we don't want to do. Tiny, tiny little Seriously? pieces. I don't think I've ever used little ones like oh. that. <laughs> but I'm a I'm little extreme blind. with the uh, with the little okay. ones because uh, we're doing something small, and that's okay. actually a little bit more than we need. But I'm gonna, I, when I'm doing sweat soldering, I want to make sure that uh, I'll do a little bit of that. So the pick needs to be really clean, right? It just should, can't be gunked up with stuff. Right? Well, you don't want it. No, you don't want it to go into it. I mean, and that's the disadvantage of the handy flux is it does get gunky. Mm -hmm. Um, so they're all on there. If and if you were doing something real intricate where you had like a leaf coming up and they're tiny, you want to make sure that the, you really get the the solder to that because when you start soldering, sometimes they, it doesn't go that way. So I'm just heating these up. This should getting shiny. So there they go. So I'm just going to take my pick. Cool. Did you see that? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. So what cool. I want you because you can move that solder to the ends. So say you do have a little tiny end there, you, once that solder flows, you can just flow it. 